Pablito Cabo Show. Say hello to my best friends, Paquita Paquita. today so let's use our lottery machine okay let's do it okay so let's count two three are you ready paquita are you ready burrito okay so and one and two and three okay let's see who will be the cowboy or cowgirl Let's see. Okay, I picked one. Okay, I think it's a girl. And the cow girl for today is Kaylin. Yeah. What is your name? Kaylin. Yeah. This is your name. So, woo! so you are the cow girl for today. So let's put this hat for you and the bandana that you look real cowboy okay okay let's see let's see how you look how you feel cowboy <laughs> yeah wow look at you a real cowgirl okay let's stand here and and i want to uh, ask you something can you help me today i need your help because we we want to uh, choose the word the spanish word of the day we need to choose one word and, and i need your help can you help me with that yeah good okay so this is this is our words so let's hold it here and let's mix it together ready let's mix it, mix it, mix it and choose one what is this this is you know what 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 is here what is what is what is this? Yeah. Right, and how you say this Spanish? <laughs> Perro! This is our name, our word for today! You see this sweet little dog? Okay, so thank you for helping me, for helping me. Okay, so now, you know what we are going to do now? Hmm, I think, you wanna play a game? You wanna play a game? You wanna play a game? Yeah! we will do a little warm-up before we start playing a game okay so everybody stand up stand up stand up stand up stand up stand up yeah and let's do some exercise okay so let's jump and move my hands left and right and left and right left and right left and right yeah and turn around hey yeah hey yo that's great are you feeling warm enough no? Let's jump high. Can you jump high, high, very high? Let's see. Jump and jump. Very high. That's great. You can jump with us too. Okay, now you feel, you feel, you feel warm now? Yes. Yes, great. So we can start playing the game. Let's start the game. So let's play a game. And the game. today is pin the tail on the donkey yeah so how we play this game we have this tail right we cover uh, the eyes that you can't see anything and then you have to pin the tail on the target the one who closes to the target he is the winner yeah let's cover your eyes I will I will turn you a little bit around to, to you know to make you a little bit a little bit dizzy okay so it's up and now hold hold the tail can you feel the tail yeah now go straight and pin the tail on the donkey Woo! <laughs> wow. wow how did you do that you don't know 
You don't know? Okay, thank you. The next one, the next one is going to be Victoria. Victoria will try to put the tail on the donkey. Come, come, come. Come, Victoria, are you okay? Okay, just maybe we, we cover your eyes that you can see, because now I, th I think you can see everything. Okay, you okay, you feel okay? Okay, okay, let's, well, let's turn you around. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. And you, you can go, go there, straight, straight, and pin the tail on the donkey. Go, 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 you, you, you will feel it, you will feel it. Whoops! Here, here, you can stick it here. Okay! Thank you, Victoria! Okay, okay, so let's turn you around a little bit. One and two, and you go and put the tail on the donkey. How can it be? It's right on the target. Okay. Very good. Okay, Alexis, so please, please, yeah, stand there. Stand there, please. And we want to call to the last one. Let's put it on your eyes quickly. Okay, are you ready? Can you see something? No, you okay. So let's turn around and go and put the tail on the donkey. This is the direction. And... <laughs> okay. Very good. So I think we have three winners here. Huh? Yeah. Who's the winners? Who's the winners? Okay, raise your hands, raise your hands. Okay, and this is for you, and this is for you, for you, and this is for you. Thank you for playing with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome again to our Burrito Cabo Show. Yeah, and as I said, we have a special guest for today. Uh, so hello, Barrett Baker. Thanks for having me back, Dave. Yeah, from Tucson Fire Department. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so we wanted to ask you a few questions. Sure. Um, we are talking about, you know, fire and lighters and, and... So the first question I wanted to ask you, is it okay to play with uh, matches and lighters? No. Matches and lighters are for adults, right? So you and I know how to safely use them. But if you're two, three, four, five years old, the matches and light, they might look cool because fire, you know, it looks like, woo. Yeah. But guess what? It can start a fire. And that fire can go from this big to really big very, very quickly. So, and when we're two and three, four, five years old, we don't understand how, how, how fast it can grow. And at the end of the day, that can lead to someone dying. And so that is the worst case scenario. So the best way to avoid that is to never play with them. Okay, did you hear that? It's very, very dangerous. And how can parents prevent uh, from kids to play with fire? Great question. I mean, the number one thing that we can do as parents is to make sure that our kids don't have access to lighters and matches. So if you are a smoker or if you just have them around for any other reason, you've got to put them in places that the kids can't get to. You mm -hmm. almost hide them. And on top of that, if your child has shown, shown any sort of curiosity about fire, and they, you know, you've, you've caught them looking at matches or lighters. Yeah. Well, you need to talk to them about the dangers that that can possess. So it's never too early to talk to kids about how, da how fire can be so dangerous. But again, the other part of that, put them away and make sure that the kids can't get to them. Because if a child is curious and they come across something like that, they're going to play with it. Yeah. So if we don't let them play with it, then that's the best thing that we can do. Don't forget that. And... I wanted to ask you if you see if a kid see you know a, his friend or sibling playing with fire what to do what would you tell him to do well if we're eight years old then we might know that fire is dangerous but if we have a younger brother or sister and they're playing with that because they don't know yeah then obviously that can lead to terrible things so it's very important that if you see your younger brother or sister or someone playing with matches or a lighter that shouldn't be then what do you do go tell an adult 
because then again, that adult will make sure that they get put in the right place and we don't have any accidental fires. Because we really do, two months ago, three months ago, we had two fires started by five-year-olds that oh turned into house God. fires. So this is a real thing. And the number one thing we can do as parents is to make sure that our kids don't have access to those. Okay, so let's don't forget this important rules and thank you so much always a pleasure captain dan thank you as well yeah bernard baker thank you so much Appreciate it. thank you stay safe everybody yeah okay so thank you thank you for being with us we had a great time i hope you enjoyed it too and yeah join us again next time right